Hello friends, this is KD Sivam once again with the Law of Evidence series. This is our second video of this series. Today we are going to discuss about applicability of the Evidence Act 1872. Right? Already we have discussed the salient features. Now this is our second video. So in this video, we are going to applicability of the Evidence Act 1872. Let's start the Evidence is one of those matters which are governed by the law of country in which the proceedings takes place. Irrespective of the fact whether a witness is competent or not, whether certain evidence proves certain fact or not. So the main objective of evidence law is to reach out to the truth and hence the procedure takes place. That's why it's called as procedural law, right? So next, it is the extension. As we have already seen, According to section 1 of the act, the Indian Evidence Act extends to the whole of India except the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Or agar hum India ko define kare section 3 ke mutabik, to India means the territory of India excluding the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Lekin ab 2019 ke baad Jammu and Kashmir ko bhi India mein le liya gaya hai. To definition change ho gaya hai. This law is now applicable to even Jammu and Kashmir also. Okay. Let's talk to the next slide. Judicial proceedings. It applies to all judicial proceedings in or before any court. Koi bhi court ho, it applies. This law of evidence applies to all the courts, including the court martial also. But at the same time, there are few court martials convened under the Army Act, convened under the Army Act, the Naval Discipline Act, the Indian Navy Act, and the Air Force Act. Yaha law of evidence applicable nahi hota hai. To jaha jab bhi hum koi cheez applicability dekhte hain, to uska non applicability bhi dekhna jaruri hai. Aur ye aapke jo ek ek point hai, wo aapko Competitive exam may kafi kama aenge, right? So please remember that that is Marshall convened under Army Act, Naval Discipline Act, the Indian Navy Act, and the Air Force Act. Next, affidavits. It is also not applicable to the affidavits presented to any court or officer. Okay, so not applicable may affidavits be aata hai, so it is not applicable to the affidavits presented to any court or officer not applicable to the proceedings before an arbitrator to arbitrator ke samne koi bhi proceedings chal rahi ho to law of evidence applicable nahi hoga and also not applicable to the domestic inquiry uska example hai state of haryana versus ratan singh and it is also not applicable for the, to the departmental proceedings aapne dekhe honge bahut sare government departments honge aur har department mein kya hota hai kabhi koi employee kuch galat karta hai to uske samne उनका प्रोसीडिंग चलता है उनका एक प्रोसीजर होता है राइट कमेटी बिठाया जाता है वो ये एक्शन लिया जाता है लेकिन वहां ये लॉ ऑफ एविडेंस एप्लीकेबल नहीं होगा तो केएल शिंदे वर्सेस स्टेट ऑफ मैसूर ट्रिब्यूनल्स इट इज आल्सो नॉट एप्लीकेबल टू द डोमेस्टिक ट्रिब्यूनल्स ऐसे नॉर्मल ट्रिब्यूनल्स को एप्लीकेबल है लेकिन डोमेस्टिक ट्रिब्यूनल्स को इट इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल इट मे नॉट एप्लीकेबल टू द लेबर कोर्ट्स एंड आल्सो द ट्रिब्यूनल्स ऑफ इट and it is not applicable to the income tax authorities also right income tax authorities ko se bakat rakha gaya hai it is it is not applicable to the reception of materials against the contemnor in the contempt procedure to ye bhi aapko dhyan rakhna hai so now as a conclusion the as we know the very objective of the evidence act is that of the court to find out the truth on the basis of the facts brought before the court by the parties to meet the ends of justice as expeditiously as possible now the rule of evidence is not to put limitation and restriction on the parties but rather it acts as a guiding factor for the courts to consider this evidence and hence applicability and non-applicability is very much important when it comes under the law of evidence right so only we can proceed it in the right way in the right path okay the students friends i hope you understood and uh, now here comes the end of this video so we will meet in the next video we will come out with the next video of this series 
राइट दैट इज डेफिनेशन एंड कंसेप्ट ऑफ द टर्म्स तो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड अगर आपको पसंद आए तो प्लीज शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब करना